Hello, my name is Lori, and thank you for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you like this video and or find it informational, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you want to know when I post new things, then hit the bell and it will alert you. All right, so today I'm here to talk about Silk and Sonder. And um, last time I talked about um, how I was trying to redo myself, re, you know, give myself a little bit of inspiration, a little oomph. And I had um, purchased Silk and Sonder, and I also had per, uh, uh, purchased Belinda. Oh gosh, I can't even think what her name is right now, but I uh, purchased hers also. And um, the reading in Belinda's Step Into Success um, is a very easy, and I have enjoyed it. Um, I just haven't been reading it as much as I thought I would. Um, so I really honestly haven't used the planner at all for my business. I kind of got hooked and drug into Silk and Sonder. So this is their February book. And I am really, I'm gonna, this is very private. So I'm gonna let you in on it. So let's talk about a couple things. So um, this Silk and Sonder, you have subscriptions. You can do a monthly subscription, you can do a quarterly subscription, and you can do a yearly subscription. And they're all different prices. I chose the yearly. It was kind of expensive. But I did it because it ended up being like $15 per month instead of like $24 something. So I had the money and I was able to do that. But if I didn't have the money and I wanted to go month by month, I would do this again in a heartbeat. Um, this has helped with my anxiety. It has helped with my focus. This has helped with um, just me and centering and um, what I want out of life. Um, I've had some things happen within the past few years that have been extremely hurtful. Um, and I have been really trying to um, find forgiveness and um, find peace about all of it. And I really feel like this Silk and Sonder has done that for me. Um, so with that being said, there's an app that goes along with this. And unfortunately, I'm using my phone here um, for my camera. So I'm not going to be able to show you the app. Um, I usually have that phone sitting in front of me so um, you can see it. But there's an app that goes along with it. It has daily rituals. It has um, a daily journal prompt. Um, it has, um, gosh, I don't know. It has a lot more. So I work in both the online app and I also work in my actual journal. So I wanted to have a whole bunch of pens that I could use. I liked the different colors. It was fun for me. So kind of let's talk about that real quick. All right. So the first ones I bought were um these are click art and um I really like these. They've got um, a nice pointy end to write with. Ooh, that's not focusing. Um, a nice pointy end to write with. I had an array of colors. I think I got this off of Amazon as well as this um, holder for the markers. I actually love both of them. So clip art, um, markers, and this I love. It sits up on its own. Okay. Then I purchased another one of these bags. Um, and I bought another set um, of markers. These were midliner um, and they are double ended and um, I don't really like how they write. Um, even though they've got a nice pointy end, um, I much prefer the click art over the midliner. So that's 
that's my my take on the markers but I will tell you I found these other markers and um, they are these and they are called uh, Staedtler's S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R and they are ultra fine these are the ones that I found out that I am using all the time so I went back and got more colors I like these um, they don't bleed through and um, I like how they hold in my hand um, I like that they're fine tips so I can get more writing in a space so these a must. And I got these from Michaels. I got these from Michaels in their art section. The other thing that I brought that I bought that I don't have actually with me is um I bought colored pencils because there's a coloring page in here. And I tell you, I wish there were more coloring pages because I sat in front of the TV with my husband and I colored and he watched his crazy shows that he likes to watch and I don't and we were together and it just really just he's like are you done coloring and I'm like well yeah almost and then we can go to bed but I it just relaxed me it um I, I don't know funky I just loved it so February's um month is passion and I can't stand that there's something on that but anyways so I made and I'm gonna show you this first out of um, all of my Stampin' Up! stuff, I made a bookmark um, so that I could put myself through the book. But I want to show you this real quick because, you know, each month there'll be different things. So next month, I don't know. It won't be about passion. It'll be about something else. So the author, um, Miha, she um, writes this narrative of um, what the month is going to be like and maybe um, what she's gonna ask of us. Then very quickly, I'm gonna go through this. It has um, a calendar. Um, during one of her uh, rituals, she asks us to write down 28 things that um, make me passionate. So I wrote down those things. Um, this is a future log, so like um, birthdays or doctor's appointments that maybe are gonna happen in March and April. And this is where I can put those so that when I get my March calendar, I can come back and enter those in. Then um, she asked us during these rituals um, to do the January reflections and the February intentions. And then you have these mood trackers and habit trackers. And I you can do it however you want. That's the wonderful thing about this. Like I did a lupus track tracker for my pain level and um, my exhaustion level. So let's, let's go in and let's just do this real quick. So this is what I did. Um, so I color coded mine and yesterday I was beyond exhausted. Like I just can't even ex explain to you how exhausted I was. And I was really kind of like that on the 13th too. So I'm going to put in my exhaustion levels. My pain levels, honestly, they didn't even match to my exhaustion level, but you can see on other days that, um, my pain and, um, my exhaustion level was equal, you know, so I made sure that, you know, that was in there. Then over here on my habit, habit tracker, I can, I could do whatever habits I wanted. So as you can see, this direct sales, I really haven't been doing very good on that. But I've been doing really good on my daily Bible. And um, so I just haven't marked them in. I did it there and I did it there. I will be honest, I didn't do it there or there. And I actually haven't done it today. So I'm not marking today. Um and um making a card because i want to just like get more into making my cards sometimes like i can go a whole month without making a card and making my cards actually like brings peace and serenity to me so um yeah so i so i want to i want to make my cards more then there's this sleep tracker and for me it's huge it's showing me what time I'm going to bed and what time I'm getting up and how many hours I'm sleeping and um, it's crazy 
crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so I really, really like this sleep tracker. Then um, we have a gratitude log. And I just, you know what? Let's just type it in right now. I am grateful for Silk and Sonder and how it is changing me. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's what I did. One day I, you know, one day I said I'm grateful that Jesus died on the cross. Another day I said I'm grateful that um, Brian worked so hard for us. Um, so, you know, yeah, I just, I, I was grateful that I got to go to Cody and Christina's baby shower. And, um, so yeah, so I get to, you know, I don't, sometimes I'm so caught up in my lupus and my pain and I forget to be grateful. So that's really good for me. Um, so these are some other things and I, ideal day, I didn't do that yet. Um, a letter to yourself. Oh my goodness. This is so precious to me. I wish that um, I could go back and like actually really give this to a younger self. Um, what's that song, Younger Self? Um, it's a Christian song. Love that song. Love that song. This is what I would tell my younger self. So yeah, this was major for me. Um, then here's my coloring page. So I use my colored pencils and I just colored my page and it was I'll tell you what, honestly, like I have severe carpal tunnel. This hurt really bad to do this. I, this did not take me a short amount of time. This took me a really long time, like hours. We were sitting and doing this for hours because my hands kept going numb. Um, and then I had to list some of my favorites and they give us, a, now I didn't try this, but it was a cinnamon chili. People on the Silk and Sonder app have raved about this. I don't know if I would try cinnamon in my chili, um, but it says that cinnamon is anti-inflammatory. It's got antioxidant benefits and it helps lower your bad cholesterol. So I don't know, maybe we should try it. I'll let you know if I try it. Um, then we have passion clouds. And then each day as she's doing her rituals or you're um, in a class or something, they're asking you to go to an open page and they're asking you to jot down notes. Um, of things that, you know, this is dealing with passion. So things about passion. Um, I'm not doing my monthly expense tracker because I have that um, in another folder and um, I don't want it disrupting my peace and harmony <laughs> for making me what's sad for all the money that I have to send out in bills. But yeah, so, but I could use this for something else. I mean, I don't have to use this for an expense tracker tracker. That is like, what is so awesome about this? Some people like they'll put a strip there, uh, like white out or something, and they'll add something else that they're wanting to track. So I could have done that crossword puzzle. Haven't done. I did not really know how to do this when I first started. So I didn't do it right. And I don't think like I got mine like on the third or fourth. So I didn't really know how to use this yet until I went to a Silk and Sonder social. And when I went to that Silk and Sonder social, um, they helped me do my week in advance. So I always will do the weekly, um, weekly prep social, uh, socials, um, because, um, they kind of guided me on all of this. And so these were my affirmations daily. And, um, this says I'm loving setting aside me time to relax and think about what I want, putting it on paper and trying to center myself. So these are just things. These are other things that I really want to do. I was put exercise on here. And as you can see, I didn't do any of it, any of it. And I really need to start doing that. I really, really need to. So yeah. That's something I need to do. And so then here's my daily calendar calendar. And this is how I set it up. Now you don't have to set it up like this. You can set it up however you want. So they sent me this page in an email and I printed it off and I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, this is the way they said one way to do it. Um, this is kind of the way I'm doing it. I like the, the hourly, um, concept, but 
this is another way to do it. So there's no right or wrong. That's what I love about this. This is your, this is your journal. It's what you want to do. All right. And then, um, after the week was over, we had a weekly reflection. And so, um, your highlight of your week. Now mine's kind of crazy. It says I got my hair cut and colored and it makes me feel beautiful. And so, yeah, that's like, that's sad that that was my highlight of my week, but I had been wanting to get my hair cut and, um, I didn't do it. So yeah, got it done. Um, my emerging opportunity is we're working on getting a mortgage so we can get our house in Florida. And then a challenge for me, um, that's personal. I'm not going to share it. Um, but it was definitely a challenge for me and, um, I had, I really had to work through it. Um, and, um, so yeah, these are some of my rituals and my daily reflections. Um, the currently I haven't done, it'll be in one of these, um, rituals or sessions that I go to, but yeah, so this is my next week and, um, I don't know. Is today Tuesday, Wednesday? I don't know what today is. I'll be honest with you. Oh, today's Wednesday. So I haven't put a lot down here because I didn't feel good for two days. So like I literally was down yesterday. I just really just like zoned out. Um, so I was trying a different way here. Didn't like it. Wanted to go back to my, my hourly. Um, so this is what it is. Next week, I'll have another week. At the end of the week, I'll have another weekly reflection. And then I'll have my last week in February. And these are all my journaling stuff. And I will then, um, I saw, they asked us um, to do um, acrostic poem um, for passion. So I did mine with um, Bible verses um, because that's what I really want to be more focused on um, is my love for God. And um learning his ways over my ways. And so that's one thing that, um, this is helping me do. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, this, um, this is February's journal. Um, when I get March's journal, I'll just do a brief, um, over, uh, review of March journals too. I'll do it for a couple weeks and then come on here and just kind of share with you what, um, I'm finding out in March about myself and, um, what it is, um, what it's like and what, um, I'm working on. So, okay. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for staying to the end to watch this. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, I will put, um, the link to Silk and Saunders. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm just doing this on my own because I, um, want to share this with other people. Um, I believe most of these are women that do these, but there could be some men. Um, but I think this really is more geared towards women. Um, so you have a blessed day and I will talk to you later.